This is legal, isn't it? Right out in the middle of the road. Heck yeah. So when you guys load a excavator, how do you do it? God, that's not easy. I think I'll get copyright strike for this. Dum 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 dum. <laughs> oh, dumb. Dum 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 dum. Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> that hurt. Oh, dum 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 dum. Boom. Hey, we're moving the bridge today. So this is an old uh, railroad bridge, uh, I think it was the Oregon Short Line, had a uh, beat dump down, uh, down by my house. This line actually went right through where I parked my equipment right next to my house. And they took it out in the 50s. But anyway, this uh, crossed the canal back here and this guy wants to move it up here so he can access a small pasture piece of ground. Wanted to know if we could move it. I said, yeah, we give her a whirl. Uh, we've taken the bucket off. Bucket's in the back of my pickup here, so I'm the bucket boy today. Um, anyway, we'll see what happens. We gotta set it across this canal not sure how heavy it is or what the excavator is going to do when he starts booming out. We may have to turn the machine uh, sideways on the ditch bank before we swing it uh, to make sure we don't tip over sideways into the canal. <laughs> so he stole the swivel hook off the hoist in the shop to do this. Holy moly. Hope it holds. Hey, this is that chain we used to lift that bridge with. Look. Ooh, it's magic, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Impressive? There's something kind of phenomenon going in Jay Pater's shop today. How can that be? How is it possible that that chain is standing up? 
I didn't dip it in Viagra or anything. How's that possible? Holy cow. <laughs> that chain was about to break here. How many places was there, Matt? Here. Here. Oh, wow, there's a good one right there. <laughs> Great zero chain. One more out of the shop. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that. The scraper's gone. So, it's outside running here. So we got a boost gauge we had hooked to it. Uh, this switchblade has reduced the black smoke significantly, just like it did the cat. So I'm gonna run that boost gauge inside the cab so I can watch it. Uh, you're gonna get to see it running out here in the yard and the uh, reduction in the black smoke. And uh, Anyway, we'll, uh, we're going to try to keep track of oil samples, fuel consumption compared to the other scrapers, and uh, show you what it's doing. So, hope to get you that stuff later on this week, maybe.
So I just bought Mama a new lawnmower. So I went down to the Homer. I got me one of these ZTR Cub Cadet jobs. One that will cut within a thousandth of an inch. So let's see if I'm qualified to make this run. Contact! Whoa! It's got a Harley in it. Oh! Get your motor running! Uh oh, quit. What did I do wrong? All I did was put the lever, and I apparently don't know what I'm doing. Alright, Jeff, what are you doing? Nope. Somebody explain to me how to run this. Somebody wanted to know, a gentleman wanted to know what that stuff was on Mr. TD24's batteries. It's called Battery Saver. Case makes it. Anyway, it works pretty good for arresting the growth of crud. And my Dodge seems to like to overcharge, so it, it tends to like to build goop corrosion on the cables. So I keep I usually keep them hosed down pretty good, and then they like to eat these up. So I drown them with it. We. And there you go. You got a wee bit of this stuff on your battery cables. And you're going to get maximum water per out of it. I promise you. Super Dodge is in the shop. I washed her up. And my transmission uh, cooler lines are leaking, so I got to replace those. Uh, see the deal there with the flashy light? Power pulse. That's made by the uh, same company that does the Solargizer that I showed on Mr. TD24's 24. Okay, there we are. Remember, remember that time I got dumped out on the freeway? <laughs> what it did is it blew the hose out. See, this one's got the collet still on it. And all this one's got is a clamp. Anyway, it blew the hose out. So I pulled the collet off and then just put a hose clamp on it. Well, this one over here with the collet on it, this other one's starting to leak. So I'm just going to replace them both. So to remove those kind of hoses, what you do is you go down to your local Napa store and you buy you one of these deals. I'm missing this one, but it's this one right here that I need. And so what I'll do is, yep. Yeah, you put this over the line you put this up over the line you run it in and uh, it releases the tabs in there and then you can pull the hose off the metal line <laughs> look at that I've been working so hard I got a blister in the palm of my hand so today I'm wearing protection on my hand all right, there's the old ones. Like I was telling you earlier, if you've been watching me for a while, this one's the one that blew off going down the interstate. So these are the new hoses. They came in a Napa bag, but really there was a sticker under there that says uh, Dorman. This is a Dorman product. This is made in China crap. Absolute crap. Poor rubber everything okay we're in so um i was trying to remember i think it's the short hose is the one you want to put on first because you see right there that's where your that's where the clamps are so you want to make sure and put your clamps facing out that way and then use one of these to tighten them with and that inside hose I don't even think I can show it to you. It's back. It's back inside here. There. Can you see it? I don't know. There's that one. There's the other one back in there. So you got to make sure to face your hoses both this way so you can get them tightened. And then 
Once you tighten these up, come back in a few days and retorque them down because they're going to take a set and they'll be loose. And then you you really want to keep your eye on this junk because the minute it starts leaking, you're going to want to replace it before it blows off and leaves you stranded. Oh, she's a cold day today. The J Pater box is full. I got stuff going to Holland and Coston, BC. Andrew from North Island, New Zealand. Scott from Shropshire in the UK. Stephen from West Sussex in the UK. Thomas from Washington, Missouri. Jeff from Newton, New Jersey. Griffin from Waco, Texas. And Leonard from Roseburg, Oregon. Thank you guys for supporting Jay Pater. They're on their way. Hey, you got a hat going out to William and Caldwell. A hat going to Ray in California. Along with the VP44 injection pump removal tool. Enjoy, Ray. Hey, so you remember I was telling you I was going to get some more uh, drawer organizers. So, these came in the mail the other day <clears throat> and what they are is they're the organizers that go in these tool cubes and uh, this has 25 adjustable compartments in it anyway i got a whole bunch of them because so i've got bolts in this one i'm going to put more in those drawers down there for more of my bolts i've got bigger bolts in here i got some fittings i put in there uh, so I'm going to take these bolts out, put them in this box and I'll have all my bolts and stuff in this box. And then in this box, I'll have all my hose ends, fittings, air fittings, uh, miscellaneous like pipe fittings, brass fittings, that kind of stuff. Uh, and that way I know which box to go to, uh, the this box will have all that in it this box has my other stuff so this box too right here this one's going to have all my impact stuff this is all my chrome stuff in this box so i love these toolboxes and i especially love these deals here because i can just open them up and go to the stuff i need it's all nice and clean and organized and i'm kind of a clean freak as you know all you gotta do is look around my shop <laughs> they go holy smokes jeff how do you keep this thing so clean well i do a lot of cleaning hey everybody so it's uh mail day today i got a ton of stuff can't wait to see what's in there let's open her up so i'm not sure who sent this so in the comments take credit below uh Kimberly Clark Professional Jumbo Roller Wiper. Man, you guys are awesome for sending this stuff. I don't know what to say here. Well, I've seen these before. Wow. That's cool. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. Check this out. Wow, that is cool. That's awesome. Wow, thank you very, very much. Wipe all wipers. Okay, these must be a, let me check this out, man. Cool, took me a little while, but I figured it out. I'm a pretty smart feller. It's like a, it's like a giant Kleenex box. A gift for you. The stand to hold these might come a little later. Nope, came here. So just wait and it will be there. Love the channel, Danny Toner. Well, Danny, this is, <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna get this all set up. Uh, you'll see it around the shop. <laughs> I love this. That's just so cool, thank you so much. Okay, some airmail from the UK. Oh, wow. Wow, check this out, man. Tons of old Caterpillar guidelines. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. 
Wow. That is awesome. And a letter. This stuff w uh, came from Paul. Uh, he's in uh, Somerset, England. Uh, thank you for the letter, Paul. Uh, I love that stuff. You guys send me things and tell me about yourself and what you used to do. Uh, I can see that you worked on a lot of cool old CAD equipment. Uh, this is just totally awesome that you sent me this stuff. I uh, love it, Paul. Thank you very much. And uh, you'll be getting some stuff from old Jay Pater. Ooh, got some stuff from George Kirsten. Kirsten in Colorado. Cool. Uh, Matt will love these, George. This is awesome. Uh, the D Force service manual. This is an original cat one. These are gold, man. These are better than the stuff, the reprints that you buy off Amazon. This is really cool. Uh, I'll get some J Pater stuff you're, sent your way also. And then you said that you, uh, in your letter, that you hauled sheetrock out of Sigurd, Utah. I know exactly where that is. If you've noticed in some of my videos, on the side of the ROPS inside the uh, machine on the 14G is written Sigurd and a date because the people I bought that from were down in southern Utah. Anyway, they must have done some service work when they were over in Sigurd. Anyway, I drove right through there when I went down to pick up my blade. Um, so thank you very much for this stuff, George. And like I said, I'll get some pay dirt swag your way. And I got a whole bunch of letters. I know exactly what this is. When I get these, I know they're donations to Shane. Uh, he really appreciates that. Uh, I'm gonna be updating you on what's going on. I had uh, lunch with him yesterday when I went up and bought the new lawnmower and visited with him, cheered him up a little bit. He's doing his best to hang in there. Uh, anyway just absolutely love you guys for helping me and helping Shane uh, I just don't know what to say I know he's very humbled by your donations he really wishes this was over uh, it's just it's just been a nightmare for him so uh, thank you very much for the donations thank you fellas for the donations to Shane really appreciate that um, uh, Eric Lahorn, uh, you're not bothering me. Uh, tell Marguerite that it old Jay Paydirt said hello. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Whiteboard where I get to talk about some of my awesome subscribers. You guys have been really super at sending your names in. I uh, want to start out with John Nance. He's from Albany, Oregon, originally from Northern California. Said he uh, was in Northern California in the 60s and 70s. <laughs> so you're my kind of guy, an old hippie maybe? <laughs> uh, Vic Paul, he's from Crooksville, Ohio. Crooksville, isn't that where most of the politicians are from, is Crooksville? Anyway, Vic was a mechanic for 50 years, so he re really <laughs> relates to what I'm doing. So thanks for subscribing, Vic. Uh, Hank Poway, he's from California somewhere. Uh, thank you, Hank, for subscribing. Uh, Dwayne Osborne from Burlington, Washington. Thank you, Dwayne, for subscribing. And Stuart Hingston from Tasmania, down under in Australia. Thank you, sir. Uh, Justin Bludoff, Bloudoff. He's from Birch Hill, Saskatchewan, Canada. Thank you, Justin. And Theo Custers. Uh, he's from Wyoming slash Sarnia, and that's in uh, Ontario, Canada. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, love your comments, love your suggestions. Uh, just absolutely love the positive comments, thank you. Hey, if you want an old Kenny hat or an Anderson hat, go to my uh, store, it's www.jpaydirt.com. Uh, also too, you can get the Filthy Horror silhouettes if you'd like one there. Uh, I want to thank Tony Spresser for cutting those out for me. Also too, if you've got kids or grandkids, you can get the Old Kenny Coloring Book. And I'll put a link below. This is uh, available on Amazon. Uh, check out, in all my videos, at, at the top of the comment section, I always pin a comment 
uh, and leave the link to get this to my store. If you'd like one of these Tool Crown toolboxes, uh, the Tool Crown website's there also. So check it out.